everyone, my name is JW, and welcome back to a Minecraft tutorial. Today, we will be building the AC-1 Sentinel tank from Australia, a World War II cruiser tank. The AC-1 Sentinel was in service from 1942 to 1943 with the Australian military, serving in World War II as a training vehicle or in the event Australia were to be invaded by the Japanese. The gun of the AC-1 Sentinel was the Ordnance QF 2-pounder with a barrel length overall of 2.8 meters or 6 feet and 10 inches. Effective firing range of 2-pounder is 914 meters or 1,000 yards. Maximum fire firing range was 1,000 meters or 1,093.6 yards. The muzzle velocity of the gun is 792 meters a second or 2,600 feet per second with an AP shot. Rate of fire is 22 rounds per minute. Elevation is 13 degrees negative and plus 15 degrees. The weight of the AC-1 Sentinel is 28 long tons or 28.4 tons. Length of the vehicle is 20 feet and 9 inches or 6.32 meters width of the vehicle is 9 feet or 2.77 meters height of the vehicle is 8 feet or 2.56 meters the armor of the AC-1 Sentinel at the front is 65 millimeters or 2.6 inches with the sides and rear reaching up to 45 millimeters or 1.8 thickness the turret at the front is 65 millimeters and equivalent all the way around is the same. The crew of the AC-1 Sentinel is five. The commander, gunner, loader slash operator, driver, and a whole machine gunner. The AC-1 Sentinel carried two additional armament. This being two 303 slash 7.7 millimeter Vickers machine guns carrying both 4,250 rounds. The suspension of the AC-1 Sentinel is a horizontal vault spring suspension system. The engine of the AC-1 Sentinel were three Cadillac V8 engines producing 330 horsepower. The operational range of the AC-1 Sentinel was 150 miles or 240 kilometers. The AC-1 Sentinel was designed in 1941 with the manufacturer being the New South Wales Railway Company. They were produced from 1942 to 1943 with a total of built of 65 units, none of which saw combat and only served as training tanks for the Australian Army, for which by the time the AC-1 Sentinel became online, there were better tanks that the Allies had that they used. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that history lesson. Now let's get into the video. So we're going to make our way down to the land of Down Under. Oof. And here we are. So today you will be needing uh, stone brick stairs, polished andesite, stone brick slabs, smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, and cut sandstone slabs. And green concrete all right all right now let's get in the building find a spot where we're gonna build and we're gonna start right here one two skip a space one two skip a space the other way and one two now skip three and one two one two one two and there we go there's your road wheels next one two three four five six seven eight there we go then one two placeholders like so and like so next place placeholder placeholder like so and like so there we go placeholders are in place now we're gonna put stairs on top of that and stairs over here very good next drive wheels and sprocket wheel there we go next we're gonna put st stairs on I don't know why I stuttered with my S there. That's just a way of the JW. Put the 
Let's do this on all the road wheels. This is the suspension that holds them in place. Very good. Then we're just going to connect it with slabs on top. And there you go. You have your track system all in place. Now we can get rid of these. And next, we're going to start on the hole. Come to the front, put two stairs, followed by not full blocks, slabs that are going to come out to you here. And you're going to connect it like so. On the back, we're going to continue all the way to about right there. Actually, now remove it. Remove one layer. And then we're going to do this. And in here, oh, we can't do that because blocks like to be tricky in Minecraft. All right, so there you go. We're actually going to extend this out one back here with a slab coming out there and a slab coming out there. All right, now time to move up the next layer. Right here, we're going to go up one with stairs on each side and a stair here and a stair here. And one, two, three, four. The fourth being rounded. So there we go. Wunderbar. And we can do that so you have an interior space kind of. There, let's let's actually get another material. So you can have an interior. I believe stairs will work. Yes. No, oh, no. Kinda. Why did it work there? Oh wait, if we do it here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna remove these. Put those in. And do it like that. Now you can have an interior. And we're just gonna do this. No, we can't. Oh well. There you go, you kinda have a crew fighting compartment in here with a little bit more space. Alright, so next we're gonna put a slab right here. And then we're gonna make a circle for the turret. Then cover all the empty spots with slabs. Alright, now we're gonna move back onto the engine deck. Which goes out to here. Like so, with slabs on the back here. And we're gonna put slabs right here. At least a row. With one opening right there. That's so you can check the engine. Next we're gonna put slabs all the way around the turret. With one, two coming out. Next one, two. And a one. And we're actually gonna need this one. I forgot to put this material in the box. I put one cobblestone wall, my sandstone wall right there. Next we're gonna go all the way around. And uh, there you go. All building lock materials are finished except for the gas cans. The gas cans are gonna go on the back here. All right, now let's get the cosmetic materials, which are in this other box. And there are a lot. Brown carpet, iron trap door, oak sign, dark oak wood fence gate, end rod, birch sign, birch trap door, chest, stone button. Alright, stone buttons are going to go on top of the jerry cans. Next, the chest, one right there, one right there, and one on the back of the turret. The birch trap door is next, which we're actually going to remove this one and put that that way. And we're going to shift crouch to place those so you have a turret hatch. Next, we're going to place some here and here. There we go. And one at the back here. Next, we have the birch signs. Gonna go here for the viewports. Like so. Very good. End rod for your two pounder. There we go. 
Don't go wood fence gate for your machine guns. And let's grab the other materials while we're here. So iron bars, iron frame, glass pane, dark oak wood button. The dark oak wood buttons are going to go all the way around on the road wheels. Very good. All right. Next, we're going to grab your iron trap doors from here and here. One on the back here. Six back there. Two right there. One underneath the gun. Two under here. We're also going to need our birch one back again and put it on the front. And here we go. That is where we do it. Next, brown carpet. We're gonna go here, up here, and down on the treads. And there's the carpet. Next, our duck oak wood fence gates. They're gonna go right here on the suspension. jerry cans as well there we go now next the antennas one one two three and one two three all right all we have left are the item frames for lights one two go here not there like so and one above the commander's hatch for his spotlight and there you have it you have successfully built the AC-1 Sentinel tank World War II cruiser tank from Australia the land from down under so thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video please hit that like button wherever they're gonna move it to and hit the subscribe button as well i would love a new addition to my wonderful, wonderful subscribers thank you guys so so much for doing what you do and everything oh, it means a lot to me you have no idea how much this means to me right now but anyways remember to like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye <laughs>